Manchester City are a better team without Erling Haaland. Yes, people, why for it? And today I'm exploring that exact question. I've spoken about it before a few times on this channel, but today I'm dedicating a whole video explaining my thoughts on why I believe Man City actually performed better without Haaland. As always, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the matter. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe if you love football content on my road to 2000. So as we know, Erling Haaland's been an absolute animal this season. 21 goals in 17 Premier League appearances and he's well on course to not only win the Golden Boot but win it by a country mile and potentially set a record for the most goals in a single Premier League season. Yet, Man City as a whole this season have not been amazing. In fact, many would say they have underperformed with sides like Arsenal, for example, excelling them in many facets of the game. So how is a team that was looking untouchable last season with the Champions League only really escaping them added one of the most sought after strikers in world football yet got worse. It is all about their system. As we know, Pep Guardiola is someone that doesn't necessarily favour number nines. He said himself that if he had a choice, he'd play a goalkeeper and 10 midfielders. He loves keeping the ball, possession is key for him, and he loves players that are comfortable in possession and can play multiple positions and having his goal contributions from all over the pitch. It was only a couple seasons ago when Ilkay Gundogan, a centre midfielder, and not even an attacking midfielder, a box-to-box -box deep centre midfielder, was the most scoring player for Man City in the season that they came second, I believe, to Liverpool, or maybe even the season Season before when they won it. So why have a recognised goal scorer in Haaland, who scored 21 goals, are Man City doing worse? Like I said, they're not used to playing with a recognised number nine. They're forcing it to Haaland too much. The football isn't as fluid. They're trying to get Haaland involved in the game too much. He's not necessarily good enough to drop back and link up the play like Gabriel Jesus was doing in the past. Haaland is a player that is a box goal scorer. Get, give him the ball in the box and he will score goals. But he's not going to link up play. He's not going to be someone to play drop deep and play beautiful pass over the top like Harry Kane does, for example. He's someone that wants to get on the end of chances. And Man City's philosophy is rarely ever that. A lot of teams play a low block against them. They're not using Haaland in the right way where he can run in behind, for example. They need more of a, I believe, a striker that's fluider with the front three and can interchange and also be great at passing the ball. And Haaland doesn't offer that. I honestly believe that if Haaland wasn't going on such a crazy run and scoring so many goals... Pep Guardiola would even consider benching the man. We saw him do it to Aguero when he first came to Man City. Benched him at the start for Gabriel Jesus because he was not doing enough for the team. It was only when he saw Sergio Aguero contributing in a greater manner that he thought, OK, I'm going to bring him back into this team. He deserves to go back into this starting eleven. I mean, if Haaland is scoring the goals, it makes it a hard decision to drop him out of the team. But I honestly believe that, uh, uh, that Pep Guardiola does consider removing Haaland from the team at least temporarily. But at the same time, he signed the man. Look, it's his signing. It's the first time you can really say he signed a top, top-notch player. In, especially for Man City. He signed a lot of great players. But I'm talking a top, top-notch striker that he's got in his team. And we saw him do it with Lewandowski at Bayern Munich. Although, let's be honest, the Bundesliga is a much easier league to compete with than the Premier League. He will do the same with Holland, I believe. It just will take time. But he's not afforded the same luxury of the time that he had at Bayern Munich that he does here with Man City because teams like Arsenal are a live wire and attacking this Premier League season right now, to be honest. But at the same time, we saw Man City's weakness in the Champions League was they didn't have, let's be honest, enough match winners. Against Real Madrid, they faltered. The first leg, look, they came away winning. I know it was a very tough game, a 4-3 result in the end of it. The second leg in the Bernabeu, they crumbled, man. They fully crumbled. They didn't have anyone that struck enough fear in the defenders and someone that could score goals. So I think Pep Guardiola has assessed it and said, look, over the season, Haaland, he might not be the best Premier League type player if we want to break down teams week in, week out. But in the Champions League, and that's what I'm gunning for, I'm gunning for the Champions League because I've won the Premier League more than enough times for Man City. I need a goal scorer and a recognised goal scorer at that. And I think he believes Haaland's going to be exactly that man. That's why I think he's brought him in. I honestly think Pep Guardiola has got to the stage where he's won the Premier League enough times. He's said it himself in the press conferences. It could have been a bit tongue in cheek and it could be a bit of mind games. But he said himself, he's won the Premier League enough times, let someone else win it. He wants to go for this Champions League trophy, I'm convinced of it. And I think he's weighed up both sides of the argument and thought, you know what? Haaland, week in, week out in the Premier League, is probably not doing us great because we're not getting enough of the team contributing. And therefore, when Haaland's having an off day or we're not finding Haaland, we're not going to win as many matches. But in the Champions League, when you've got a match win like Haaland on the, in the side, he could be the difference in helping me lift this Champions League trophy. All I'm going to say is for the other teams around, like Arsenal, Man United, take advantage.
because Manchester City will be back. They are not at it this season, I've said before. They are not invincible this season, but they will be back. So the other teams have to take advantage. But that's just my thoughts on why I believe Man City are actually better without Haaland in the team. But at the same time, I understand why Pep Guardiola brought him in. He's one of the best strikers in world football and he still will help them, I believe, win the Champions League this season. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on what I said. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe and we're to 2,000 subscribers. I've been Y Football and hope to see you all in my next video.